भर दे इतनी भक्ति मेरे अंग अंग में भर दे इतनी भक्ति मेरे अंग अंग में जैसे राम के बजरंग में मां जैसे राम के बजरंग में बजरंग में बजरंग में भर दे इतनी भक्ति मां मेरे अंग अंग में भर दे इतनी भक्ति मां दे इतनी प्रीति माँ भर दे इतनी प्रीति माँ जितना पानी सागर में भर दे इतनी प्रीति माँ जितना पानी सागर में तू इतनी दे दे माँ देख तू इतनी दे दे माँ मेरी मैली चादर में देख तू इतनी दे दे माँ मेरी मैली चादर में दर पड़ हर पल सत्संग में सत्संग में भर दे इतनी भक्ति मां मेरे अंग अंग में भर दे इतनी भक्ति मां मेरे अंग अंग में प्यारे के फूल कलियों से भर दे भर दे हर एक बाग को मां प्यार के फूल और कलियों से महक तेरी आएगी तब महक तेरी आएगी तब महक तेरी आएगी तब सड़कों से गलियों से 
Shri Mataji to everyone. Welcome yes, to our today's you. session. This is the third session in the series of sessions that we are doing in with Abdul Tankal to understand his experiences, uh, uh, his time with mother, the time that he spent with mother, his understanding in Sajuga. In today's session, we'll talk about his experiences after 2011, um, post the time when mother left her physical body. We'll talk about those experiences. And apart from that, we'll we will understand uh, what exactly is meditation what exactly how you how you get into meditation we will understand certain points so so we'll start the session from here mayank if you can put shrimati's photo uh, we will start with a small meditation session thank you very much jai shrimati ji yes you can shrimati ji Maybe we can both put both the hands on the ground. Ask the Mother Earth to absorb all the blockages on our chakras. all we have all what we have gathered during the day same time thanking her for her generosity for her abundant abundantly she has given us lot of things fruits flowers nature and kindly Creator, feet to absorb all which is disturbing us. Certainly, we can pray whatever we want. The main intention, with the attention on the. and see how she absorbs the things now we can put the left hand on the left thigh right and keep towards the mother earth as we so yogis we know what to pray just keep our attention on vibrations coming in from the left hand and going out from the right hand it's just like when we start a car try to see the 
tire pressures. Now we can put the right hand on the right thigh, left hand towards the sky. Again, we observe what's happening within us. A small prayer to Sri Mataji to allow us to evacuate everything in the right side for thinking, planning, tiredness. Now we can put the left hand on the left thigh. Pray to Sri Mother Kundalini. Please be kind enough. With whatever defects we have, we pray at your lotus feet. <coughs> Pray to you to rise and take us in the fourth dimension. Let us remain in the fourth dimension. With all the devotion, with all the bhakti, we'll raise the Kundalini with our right hand. Say very, very slowly. Then we put a bandhan slightly on the Vishuddhi, two, three bandhans, and Adnya, some bandhans, then on the Sahasrara. And we take it out as if you are taking out some things from our Sahasrara. Let them go away. So we do it two more times, very slowly. Raise our Kundalini. On our Vishuddhi, we put some bandhans. The thoughts rise from Vishuddhi, super ego, ego. Then we put some bandhans on the Adnya Chakra. We put some bandhans on Sahasrara. Full devotion. And try to take out everything which is blocking our central channel. We leave it above our head. Do it the third time. The same thing.
can put our palm of our right hand on the sahasrara, bend our head slightly in the front, move the scalp in the clockwise direction. Mother, please establish the state of Nirvikalpa. We can raise our hand Try to feel the cool breeze coming out of the Sasrara. Take down our hand. We try to keep our attention on Sasrara where we had our hand just now. Remain in this state for some time, fully remembering who Shri Mataji is and who we are. Now to end the small meditation and just say once the third mantra of Sahasrara. Om Tvameva Sakshat Sri Kalki Sakshat Sri Sahasra Swamini Moksha Pradayini Mataji Sri Nirmala Devye Namo Namaha. Now we can slowly open the eyes. Get the Kumkum of Sri Mataji. Feel the thoughtlessness on our Adnya, the vibrations on the Sahasra. No thoughts. Just being in the present. Thank you, Sri Mataji. So we can start the session. <clears throat> Jai Shri Mataji, Uncle. Jai Shri Mataji. Very nice session full of vibrations. Very helpful in taking a person into complete nirvicharita. Thank you so much, Uncle. And Mataji's grace yes, is a very nice session. Uh, we'll start today's session, Uncle. So, Uncle, we have been doing sessions wherein we are sharing uh, uh, your experiences with Mother uh, while she was there in physical form. Uh, today, Uncle, I wanted to talk to you about uh, 
your experiences uh, once mother had left her physical body what exactly did you feel and what exactly were your observations uh, how were the vibrations like after that so uncle if you can just take us through a little bit on that and then if i have questions i'll keep asking in between uncle yes now <clears throat> before we go in this um, post 2011 era there are two three things which escaped my attention last time which i will just quickly tell in 1973 navratri we had nine days puja on the terrace of sri mata ji's house by building it was called jivan jyot and to answer a question sri mata ji once said at that time huh? that even a leaf on the earth to move the order is to come from here and she pointed a, at her kundalini so this is something which i would like to share wanted to share with you secondly also there was a birthday puja and uh, a yogi went to offer shri mata ji a present and shri mata ji said no no i will not i will not take and suddenly the the yogi he closed his eyes and within few seconds shri mata ji said okay i will take the present and she took the present then i asked the yogi what did you say if you can share it with me so he said that i just close my eyes and I, he said shri mata ji let me i my desire be so pure that you accept my small little present and as i just said that in my heart shri mata ji immediately accepted the present so whatever is our pure desire our pure uh we can say desires or intentions you can say shri mata ji accepts she does that and last time we had seen one another incident about uh where shri mata was talking about this vortex when people are very close to one person and uh, uh when that person goes out what happens the others also go down in that vortex so in that respect i would like to just narrate another thing about one mr but obviously the name is different so he when he came to sajoga he was a chain smoker and charminar you indians must be knowing it's a very very strong cigarette and he just left smoking within a day and he was so happy and everything was in such then there was another sajogi who had come to sajoga and he did some some things which is not correct he was put out of sajoga now this fellow who had gone out of sajoga put out of sajoga had brought this mr bhat to in sajoga so this mr bhat had a little bit of a soft corner for him and then once while coming from office he said okay let's me let me go and meet this yogi who has gone out of sajoga and when he went in he talked and when he came out of the office he said okay let me just see this mr bhat said if i can smoke again if i have that and he smoked once he started liking it and smoked more and more and when shri mata ji used to come this mr bhat was very close to us so he told me please ask shri mata ji to work on my vishuddhi so that i will be cleaned 
So I used to tell Sri Mataji, Sri Mataji used to clean him. And then he stopped smoking. This happened two years. When Sri Mataji goes back, he again starts smoking. Then the frequency increases. In the third year, I told Sri Mataji, this, he has again started smoking. He has asked me to convey this to you. Then Sri Mataji worked on him for one, one and a half hours. I still remember it was in this Nilambar, fellow sitting, the feet of Sri Mataji with his back towards Sri Mataji. And Sri Mataji was working on his Vishuddhi. When she worked on anybody's chakras, she used to say, Aham, Aham Sri Krishna, Aham Sri Krishna. So I don't know the exact wording, but Aham Sri Krishna. And she used to put this uh, several times, this Sudarshan chakra on his Vishuddhi and massaged it and really worked very hard on him. And then he was cleansed forever. Then he did not get this a feeling to go to smoke. Then I went to him and I said, what happened to you? Why, why do you smoke? What was the feeling? He said, I feel some sort of a catch in my, my Vishuddhi and it's coming so like strangling me. So when I smoke, I feel good that time. This incident, just to tell you what Sri Mataji has told in How to Meditate 1976 Mumbai. When people who are out of Sahaja Yoga do not have any connection with them. I leave it to you to go through this talk. This is a very, very good talk, How to Meditate 1976. There are some talks later on I can tell you, which are really very, very, very good. Like this one, then there is the necessity of meditation, 1975 Mumbai. Then there is for Sri Ganesha also, there is a Hindi talk, 1988 Ganesh Puja, Mumbai. 76, Gudi Padwa, Delhi. Later on, we can, we'll talk about it. So in that, Sri Mataji says that. Okay, so uh, I leave you to you, go through the talk, it's in Hindi and translation is available. So coming to your question, Dushyant, about 2011, after 2011. Yes, Shri I just wanted to interject. So the first experience that you shared with Shri Mati said that not even a leaf, not even a leaf moves without my permission. So I just wanted to understand, Uncle, uh, uh, we we as youngsters we we work we go to school colleges offices so out there you know we feel as if we are doing it uncle so what is the correct emotion how should we interpret this as yogis what should be our disposition towards our daily routine our daily work what should be the thought process or how should we integrate ourselves uh, or integrate mother's thought process with our daily life what would be your advice on that particular thing uncle? I wouldn't give any advice. I can just share experience. What what have you done to imbibe this uncle? Let, let's let's no, let because share. this is something which is I've gone through all those things, you know, to uh, what what we are telling about not in your daily life, things not happening in the right way. So when you meditate deeply. We are feeling that sasrara, and we feel the, we feel the vibrations on the sasrara. And in one of the talks, Sri Mataji, they said, how can we feel the vibration when we keep the attention on sasrara all the time? And we also, then Sri, Sri replied, we have to just keep our attention, chitta or chitta, where is our attention going? So if you are able to do that in our day-to-day -day life, like at this moment, at this present moment, where is my attention? 
my attention is everywhere but it is fixed here the sasra no shri mata ji gives that example of this boy flying the kite or this lady is doing uh, you know this all this uh, on the head the water is there on the head all those things we can put it into practice cuz what happens is uh, if you have really good meditation that meditation stays for quite some time it's like a fan when you fan is moving when you put it off the current it still goes on moving so in those situations we can always see now where is my attention this fellow is making me angry now where is my attention this is in called in marathi called abhyas it's a study of your attention and slowly and gradually you can really be detached bit what you are doing about the others and they will also feel that you are something different first they will feel that it is different then they will know that you are having something which they do not have they might they might oppose you they might uh, even make fun of you i tell you one example see france is a from uladar point of view very very bad bad place they used to make all sorts of dirty jokes not only that but even in the company where i was working and i was just you know laughing i mean i couldn't make a face but they knew that i did not sort of like it and once our uh, technical director we were out for a lunch he said if there is one person in this company we are not many we are 15 who is a saint it's avdut ah huh? i said why i said <laughs> i remember i said did you drink too much last night or just you drank and came and you don't remember so he said no no i am i am very serious and this was a fellow who used to crack all sorts of dirty jokes on everything right from uh, the persons to the to the gods and everything so you name it and he, he has got a dirty joke on that but he he felt that there is something different the main thing is we don't get we should not get involved and that happens in that when you are in that meditative state you do everything but your attention could be on sasra this is again a study it's a abhyas i don't know if i replied your question dushan yes mr uncle yes 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 uncle i got this just of it thank you so much yes this is just i'm sharing an experience sure sure uncle sure so i'm uh, moving ahead uncle so i was just wondering uncle if you can talk about a little bit about your experiences on uh, vibratory front on certain problems on certain experiences yes. post 2000 post mother left her physical body any experiences that you would like to share with everyone yes now uh, with the awakening of the kundalini shri mata ji has awakened in us read we can call it detection instruments i always given sort of a um an image detection instruments like we have fire detector we have uh, you know thief detector all those detectors are there so it's these three detectors are within us first is the kundalini second are the vibrations and third is the sahasrara now out of these three the sahasrara is the best we'll see later on but if you are feeling the vibrations on sahasrara you can be sure that things will move in the right direction now with for these experiences after 2008 when shri mate told about this sahyogis we should be together 
So we are some Sajogis. We share our experiences. And some of them I can share with you. Like one of these Sajogis, his son wanted to get a job, uh, admission in second year masters. First year masters he had done. Second year masters, he, he had not, uh, he had applied, but he was waiting. And uh, suddenly he came, he, he sent all his papers in the documents, but he was not called. It was a Monday. And he came and told his parents today, they had called for the interview for the others. And uh, I was not called. So, the uh, parents said, okay, at least go tomorrow with the documents or whatever, because he had very good results in the third in this semester. So he had good marks. And then he could not sleep, the parents either did not sleep. So in the morning when this fellow went, uh, the father was very, very much disturbed which is rather obvious because he thought that if you are, if he's not getting admission, police career will be uh, spoiled. So he just went in front of Sri Mataji. He told me later on, he said, I did not put Vandan. I did not pray to Sri Mataji. I did not ask anything to Sri Mataji. I just went in the front of the photo and just put my hands like this. And he said, I just felt a very strong vibrations coming from the photo, like a whirlwind, like a uraga. And it came and it settled on my sasrara, like a crown, a cold crown. And he went into meditation for quite some time. And he realized that if he feels the vibrations on the sasrara, there will be no problem. And in few hours, he was he got an SMS from this boy saying that he has been uh, allowed to go inside for the interview, and the interview went on quite well, and finally got the the, the admission. So it's just to tell you that when we are feeling anything on the sasrara. We, uh, we can be 100% sure that things will move in the right direction. Now, second example also was another fellow, Sajogi. His son was very, very good. Uh, he had good degree, like IIT in India. And he, he was working in a bank, and then he lost his job. And then he was searching for something really uh, to his qualifications for one year, he did not get. And then he one day, this son was telling the worst comes to us, I'll come home and all that. The father went, felt a bit, uh, bit worried what's happening. And when he was just inside, he just immediately felt the sasrara, vibrations on the sasrara. Said, ah, now it's good. I don't have to worry. So, this gave him the confirmation that he will be in, going in the right direction. And within about 15 days, he got a very good job at another bank, went on very well. And it happened several times. So when you are feeling vibrations on the, the, we will come to that later on this point. Sasrara is our, uh, our uh, how do you say, 100% uh, definite guarantee feeling the vibrations on Sahasrara. Now, the, we can also awaken our Kundalini with our attention. This is again, there is some abhyas. Many of the people must have felt the Kundalini coming up when we say the mantras or when we are uh, wearing meditation. But this we can even do at all times. This Sri Mataji has shown in the different public programs. If you see at the end of public programs, at least in the West, she always does like this. Like this. 
So she raises her Kundalini, and as she has also told, she takes all, all of us in her Kundalini and raises above. And if we are able to, by some practice, able to do that, we can do that in any circumstances. Now, one of our this group friends, he was put out of job. They were uh, out, out, out. the company was about to close, and uh, he said, "Now, in 15 days, you will be out of job." So he had known that I can raise my kundalini. And he went to his desk and just closed his eyes, put his hand on the desk, and he raised his kundalini several times, several times. And suddenly all those thoughts, depressive thoughts about how I will get a job, this, everything went. Now, when he came out of the, his office, the other fellow said, you don't look very unhappy. Did you understand what's going to happen? So yes, yes. In 15 days, you won't have a job. He said, but how is it that you are not feeling any unhappiness? You don't look unhappy. So this is what happens if you are able to raise the Kundalini with our attention. Another thing was, these are the, some experiences which are real experiences, which have been uh, felt by Sahaja Yogis. Now he had to go for some public program. He had to talk. And he had a very, very hard day in life. Very, uh, very insulting things happened against him. And he was quite uh, moved, quite, you can say, depressed. And he said, okay, now I have to go and talk to people. If I, if I'm doing this in front of the people, people will not understand. And he had, did not even have time to go home or foot soak or do anything. So he was in this train, the metro, fully packed. He said, okay, now let me just raise my Kundalini. And he raised it again and again and again and again with his attention. You can do it with your eyes closed, but you can do it even with your eyes open. See, like this. So once he went there and he all his fatigue, everything went away. And he spoke very well and people were so happy and the newcomers, they were very enamored and everything. And this fellow was feeling <laughs> some hours before what will happen. So these are the things which you can do with the awakening the Kundalini with attention. And now this Dushan, you were talking about this, um, this question, what we can do with our it in our day-to-day -day life. Now, another thing which we can do is to put a bandhan. All of us, we know that we put a bandhan on the hand. We can put a bandhan on the hand. But this bandhan, when we put, we should try to see, to do it in a, we should get a proof of what's going to happen. Like when you send a letter, recorded delivery. So this, I'm giving some images, recorded delivery. So when you put a bandhan, see how you feel inside. I remember a very, uh, very strong case when I was with Sri Mataji Nilambar, 78. There was Mr. N.P. Godrej, he was my father's big boss. He was stabbed something like 16 times in his stomach and all that. And this photo was there on the, on the main, main, main page of Times of India. And Sri Mataji, when she saw, she quite, she put a bandhan, just put a bandhan like this. Her bandhan is very, very different than ours. And in some days, he recovered this, this, uh, this NP Godrej. And uh, they were quite, uh, quite 
uh, surprised how it happened, but Sri Mataji had uh, put a bandhan. Another thing is we should not put it mechanically, like some persons, they're talking to others. No, when, for example, uh, when I have to put a bandhan for any, anybody, go in the front of Sri Mataji, if there's no light, put a light. Sri Mataji, this Mr. So-and-so is having some problem. Can you please look after it? We don't put any condition again. You should tell Sri Mataji, he's in distress, he has got some problems. And I'm putting these problems at your lotus feet. If you think it correct, you can solve it. And when you put a bandhan very slowly, sometimes you can feel the vibrations on the sasrara, like a clock watch. You uh, uh, small watch, you move the, the small uh, ring and the clocks, they move. The same way you can feel. Now, when you put a bandhan, sometimes you can immediately feel the kundalini coming up. That's it, no problem. When you feel it on the sasrara, that's the best. You feel the vibrations on the sasrara, things can never go wrong. Uh, sometime before, one of us, he had a email from some, some, some lady, and she said, my father is in the hospital, aged. And can you put a bandhan for him? So he just said, oh, don't worry. I'll put, put a bandhan, everything will be all right. But when you put a bandhan, no vibrations. You put and put and put, no vibrations. So he immediately told her just put on Sri Mataji's feet, be detached. She knows what's best for you, your father. And in about an hour, he expired. But then he put a bandhan, this yogi, for her, so that she gets over the shock. So, and avoid as far as possible to put bandhans for your own personal use, unless of course, it's very, very disturbing and very much serious. Then just try to tell Sri Mataji and you can feel the reply in your hands without putting a bandhan. Because bandhan is something which is very holy. As Sri Mataji says, these are very primordial movements and we should not use them for small things, especially not very personal things. She knows what is troubling us. So we can just put bandhan to collective things, yes. To other persons, yes. But not fully every time putting a bandhan. And once you put your bandhan, try to forget about it. Put a nice bandhan, and then leave it to Sri Mataji. In Mahakali Puja 82, Lonawala, Sri Mataji said, if it's not in your attention, it is in my attention. If it deserves my attention, I will definitely look after it. This is an assurance, not a guarantee. These are almost the same words. So this is about putting a bandhan. Yes, Mataji, uncle. Can, can you show how to put a bandhan properly once? No, no. You see, as Sri Mataji has shown it, you see in uh, Christmas Puja 84 in UK, she shows just put a bandhan like this. Just put a bandhan like this. Okay. There is nothing. Of, yeah. Our bandhan is the same. It's not that. It's your attitude, your, your detachment. Like, very recently, one 
of a very good friend of ours, not Sajugini, but she had his own realization. She was in ICU. He said, okay, we'll put a bandhan, no vibrations. Nana told Sri Mataji, please let me be detached from this, this, uh, this problem. And when I was putting slowly and gradually, the vibration started coming in. The Kundalini rose and then filled it on the sasra. Then I wrote to them, it's all right, it will be all right. And in maybe a week or something, she came out of the ICU. Tomorrow she is going home. So this can happen. So there is no hard and fast rule. It's more what you feel inside, what your what are your you should uh, what are your feelings. Uh, so that detachment should be there. And did I answer your question? Yes, yes, uncle. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. There is no hard and fast rule. Yes, yes, uncle. Correct. Uh, Uncle, I just wanted to speak to you. You were talking about, you know, feel inside and uh, uh, feel from your sir star. What are you feeling inside? What kind of vibrations you're getting? Uh, any experience that you would like to share on, you know, where the Kundalini actually gives you indication of yes, uh, what is happening or how things are going to pan out? <laughs> if, I, if I start speaking, maybe we will pass uh, the whole night like this. But doesn't matter. I'll give you a couple of experiences of our group. Now one fellow was uh, meditating and at that time uh, there was a Sajogi, a, a leader of that country. So this yogi was meditating. He was always thinking something about this yogi, the leader, not in the good terms. So he, um, a half an hour, 35 minutes, maybe 40 minutes, he said, I have no vibrations and cannot be thoughtless. Then as they say, Dukan Ban Koro, close the shop, just put up bandhan and just get up. And then he just had a good thought, had a, had a thought, if this fellow comes now, knocking on the door, what will be your reaction? And as soon as he had this thought, he said, oh, I will open the door and I'll hug him as a brother. And as soon as he, as soon as he thought of this, the same time, the Kundalini shot up like anything. He had vibrations on the Sahasrara on his hands. And when he looked at Sri Mataji, the photo, Sri Mataji was as if telling, you see, Love is the only way. So it's Srimati just told in many talks. Srimati talks of, of love, many talks. I remember Saturday, 2002. She said, Love is the most powerful thing, most powerful thing. Sometimes could be, could feel how it can happen, but Second experience is one of the surgeries wanted to go to a seminar and he had to he had to give a little bit talk on some subject. And he uh, it, it was a three hour drive and uh, he had vertigo problems. So the yogis, they said, no, we'll put a bandhan and all. But still it was Less, but still there. And he said, okay, at least I can, uh, my wife can drive. But then his wife, last minute, she had a very strong uh, infection of the throat. She could not come. But he told me that every time he thought of the seminar, his kundalini rose up. He thought of this, that I have to talk, kundalini rose up. And he was very confident from inside and very calm, peaceful from inside that things will go in the right direction. And it did. It did. It was very, very good. Sri Mataji did it, I must say. 
because what happens is when the kundalini rises and it goes and settles in the sahasrara we are sort of taken care of by by the vibrations and when that happens we feel that whatever is happening for me it sri mata ji wants it to happen even even if it feel bad i give you a small example quickly one fellow a sajogi was having a lung infection rather serious and he called shri mata ji she said don't worry i will send some kerosene from australia and uh, put some kerosene yeah and she said no but you take care of everything do what is necessary then it went off rather quickly than normal and shri mata ji told him because your father was very strict during your young age and that was pressing on your heart and because of this it has gone out so what i am trying to say is even if something bad happens there is always something good kasi shri mata ji in october 85 shri mata ji said in sasra de puja so in uh, sharad book sorry that your life is chiseled all the sajogis their life is chiseled out so whatever happens to me is because shri mata ji wants it to happen and whatever she ha- wants to me to happen for me is for my spiritual good not for my money or other things good no spiritual good. so once that is that we feel uh completely detached we are in a witness state we say okay let's see what's happening let's see what's happening we are like a cinema drama going on in our real life because we know that it's shri mata ji is doing it i'm not doing anything and once that happens we feel peaceful we are not worried we are not perturbed shri mata talks about it in sasrade puja 1999 we, we feel peaceful this is something which we can feel it in our uh, sasrara when the kundalini comes up and we and you feel uh, we'll come to it later on jay shri mata ji uncle jay shri mata ji uh, uncle we spoke about uh, giving uh, uh, we spoke about a lot of things kundalini giving indication putting bandhan on hand awakening kundalini with attention uh, would you like to discuss uh, certain uh, items that sajogi should always take care of while going out or while meeting with someone or going to work or something like that and yes again in this talk the uh how to meditate 76 mumbai shri mata ji told a lot lot of things and one of them was before we go out we should put a bandhan and dushan ji your brother animesh you told that when you put this bandhan you should take out our shoes i remember that <laughs> so when yeah, yeah a long time back long time back yes so when we put a bandhan we put it very slowly during covid i also put a double bandhan means we put a bandhan like this seven times raise the kundalini and again put a bandhan and when you do it slowly slowly you can even sometimes feel the sahasrara now when you are putting this bandhan you try to feel it on your hands the left hand is free you can see you can feel it also on the sahasrara yesterday i had something very uh, important thing going out and i put a bandhan i felt it on the sahasrara i just went in front of shri mata ji and i felt immediately the vibration of sahasrara so if you are feeling this on the sahasrara things will move in the right directions now many people they put a bandhan like this i remember as if put a wiper or if there are lots of mosquitoes you have to we are taking them out no you have to put it very very slowly and 
if you are doing that many a times it happened to many of us that you will suddenly remember something which you have forgotten ah, i have to take my i don't know car keys or uh, oh i have this document i have not taken or, you know very slowly okay and secondly also which i would like to share which happened with us that after putting up bandhan just put a hands like this if the vibrations are correct in both the hands fantastic but sometimes you can feel some catches or would not like to go in all the catches but especially if you are having the right ajna catch you can be quite sure that the uh, there will be some ajna problems in the work also if for example if you feel the left nabi catch you can be sure that is going to be quite hectic the job the the day and sometimes you feel lot of vibrations means your boss is going to uh, give you a promotion <laughs> this joke yeah but so this putting bandhan on the while going out we you can really literally know what how can how the day is going to be there are also some of the things which i would like to just share quickly uh, when we were there with shri mata ji she had told raul bhai to put dhoop in the house every day dhoop is this benjoin on the charcoal uh, burn charcoal so she used to put every day every evening and i remember once she mata ji had come to strasbourg i put and uh, i went to her room and i said i want to put this is yes 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 is coming then i put it behind her shown her like this so if we are putting this later on i learned that if you are uh, putting little bit camphor in it and also the ajwain that helps a lot for improving the vibrations so those things we can uh, do also to increase the vibrations also putting ice on the liver we know all this also when you are doing the meditation see that your head does not fall down if you are feeling sleepy better to wash your face but these are very very small things but sometimes uh you know people can uh, miss it i remember a very uh, aged sir yogi and he was um, with me and his head had fallen down and after the meditation he said i such a lovely meditation i said excuse me but your head had fallen down so it was a bit little bit quick uh, maybe sleepy and uh, during the meditation we don't do any uh movements learn not do lot of movements regularly try to clean the photo with uh, rose water and uh, wipe the photos i still remember once this locket i had it in my finger and i used to feel ajna chakra so i went to shri mata ji and i said i feel ajna chakra she said what is this ring that's the shri mata ji it's your ring she told him but you put it here but do you uh worship it every day do you put kumkum do you put uh wipe it or are you just putting it for show decoration so if you are not able to do that better not put it now recently we had this one seminar in abela it was called nirmal dhyana it's an e booklet i can give you the link later on remind me this part of 100th birthday of shri mata ji and in that shri mata ji there is a lot of talks you have to just click on the talk and that the excerpts come out 
the videos. So in that, Sri Mataji talks about also at the end about the lockets and the uh, photos which you put. So it is just a uh, little bit, I'm going out. <laughs> it helped us a lot. Yes, Mataji, vibrations are good. So I think we can go out a little if required. Yes. So, Uncle, moving ahead, uh, you spoke about your past experiences. You've spoken about your current experiences. So, now, Uncle, uh, I just wanted to understand uh, how exactly should we interpret meditation? What, how, or how, how to understand meditation, Uncle? Uh, I do not know if I told you last time or even before. Adi Shakti came on the earth to uplift the human beings, to give them a higher status. And this incarnation which physically had come, is very difficult to, to realize those beautiful moments which we spend with her. I would use the word realize, should realize Sri Mataji. The only way we can realize Sri Mataji is through our bhakti, our devotion and our complete surrender. Sri Mataji has, had told us time and again, be careful, I am Mahamaya. She had given us the rules of the game, but still many of us, they slipped out, unfortunately. Now, let's see, uh, like, why you should meditate? Because in the meditative state itself, we can feel her presence, not by reading, or by doing anything else. So, how you should meditate? Why you should meditate? How you should meditate? What are the effects? What happens inside physically? And then what are the after effects of meditation? So, just very quickly, with Sri Mataji's permission, I'm sharing some experiences. These are my points of view, which I do not want to impose on anybody, just sharing them. Next time we will just, the fourth session will be more only in meditation. And we will first see why should we meditate? What is the reason to meditate? There are videos which we can see, which you can follow. So I think so. I will not talk a little bit more on that. You were sharing certain point of views, Uncle. You just suggested. Yes. About this, how to meditate? Yes, Uncle. Let's go ahead. Yes. Now, uh, basically, there is in Sajova, there is no um uh, hard and fast rule there are no there are no uh, rules how you should meditate hmm? the main thing is as i told you just now is our whole attire whole feeling in this meditation hmm? and when we are doing this meditation there are some aspects some parameters, we can say, which we have to take it into account before we meditate. Okay. So uh, I was telling about how to meditate. There is no hard and fast rule. Uh, but when we meditate, we, we say the prayers, we say the mantras, we sing the bhajans. 
let me just uh, tell you some definitions which Sri Mataji has given, which are very important. I, it really marked me very much. First is the um, bhakti. Bhakti is devotion. Now, on the 30th of March, 1990, Sri Mataji gave a very good talk, Tin Yuktiya, means three tricks to progress in Sahaja Yoga. It is in Delhi. It's public program after the birthday puja celebrations, uh, birthday puja celebrations. And Sri Mataji gives a definition of what is Ananya Bhakti. As we all know, Ananya is not the other, not duality. That we are, we are one with her. We are one with her cosmic body. Then she says that when you are in Ananya Bhakti, you should see what I see. You should work as I work. And then she says that you should love others as you love me. That's Ananya Bhakti. She's given, I think so the only time when she has talked of Ananya Bhakti. So this is one aspect which we have to remember. Now, another aspect is a broad definition of bhakti. Now, bhakti we know is prayers, singing bhajans, but we can go ahead with this in our day-to-day -day life, in our attire, in our behavior. We always have to remember that I am the son, I am the daughter of Adi Shakti. And how should I behave? How should I behave in such a way that my mother will not be unhappy with me. She will not be displeased with me. I have to keep her pleased. Sometimes somebody said jokingly, you keep mother pleased and she will keep you pleased. So it's, it's like this. You keep her pleased in all your day-to-day -day activities. Have you ever experienced this uncle? You please mother and mother took care of you. <laughs> yes, very much. I, I, I can't, I, I don't know how to start and where to end, but really I'm telling you all those things. Again, it's my own experience. Now about mantras, it's September 1983. I, I quote Srimataji, Vienna. She says, mantra, it is that power of the word that expresses the spirit. A mantra is nothing but a thought which is vibrated. For the definition of prayers, she has given in Navratri Puja 89 UK. And she says, it is not how many words you use for a prayer, but it is how deeply you have touched the feet of the divine that is important. And also she gives us the importance of dharma. 30th December 79, Mumbai. She says, it is not how many times you meditate, how many times you sit in water, use my photograph, or what you do, all these rituals. It is not that. It is how much dharma is within your heart. This is a very big thing which we have to really understand. We know what is dharma in Sahaja Yoga. We are members of Vishwa Nirmala Dharma. So that purity and that holiness, that we can, saintliness, we can say, should be imbibed in our day-to-day -day life. Now, if I continue, how yes, should... Mataji, okay. Now, uh, in... Yes. Yes, Mataji, yes. Okay. Uh, you just mentioned a particular thing that the holiness should be imbibed into a daily life. Now, how does this happen? So, uh, during the day-to-day -day life, it so happens that, you know, you tend to get engrossed into so many things. So, how do you maintain that holiness all across the day? Because there is a, uh, again, birthday puja Padri program, it's in Hindi. I don't know why it is always in Delhi, but in Sri Mataji gives uh, uh, 29th March 1986, 
a very, very beautiful talk in Hindi, but translation is available. So in that, Sri Mataji gives a lot of hints, a lot of things uh, which helps us to understand what Sri Mataji wants us to be. Sri Mataji says, tomorrow, such people will be in Sajoga who have kindness, forgiveness, and peacefulness. Also, she gives a very important indication of the importance of thoughtlessness. I, I would like to quote her. She says, entertainment is not forbidden in Sahaja Yoga, but the entertainment should be such that it establishes thoughtlessness, thoughtless awareness. Lecture should be such that it establishes thoughtless, thoughtful, thoughtless awareness in you. Mantras should be recited in a way so that thoughtless awareness establishes within you. Dhyan, the meditation, should be such that it should establish thoughtless awareness within you. So these are some of the things. And in another talk where Sri Mataji says, you have to learn to love yourself. 16 February, 86, New Delhi again, Hindi. She says, you are not only in my heart, but, but you are the blood cells flowing in my veins. should always remember I am moving in the entire body. So how should I be so that my mother is not troubled? And she says that if I do not have any problems, then the problems of the entire universe also goes away. Such a big thing. And then she says, but we should not only believe that we touch mother's feet, we gave her offerings to mother, we gave flowers to mother. No. You should become the garland around my neck. You should become, not the garland. You become the garland around my neck. You become my gar grander. Then I will accept that you believe in me. It's, it's so much. I leave you to listen to it or go through the translation. It really uh, moved me so much that any thought, anything happens with me, Sri Mataji is aware of it. Even before, I know what's going to happen. She knows why it's happening and she knows what's going to happen later on. As I told you some experiences about my mother, what my father also, she told when he ex left away, when she said that I took his Atma in my body after your phone call. He said, let me go away now. I will come back again. And she said, you will, he will come in amongst, amongst you, amongst the Sajugis. So these are the things which, though very difficult to understand mentally, if she's the Adi Shakti, she can do anything, everything. Our only thing is we have to try to become, try to become good instruments, good instruments. We had a wonderful session, Uncle. Uh, we are continuing. Yes. No, no, Uncle, I think we should end here. I'll ask, uh, uh, we should do a small meditation session and end here. And then continue in the next session, Uncle. So the next section would be fully focused on uh, uh, on the questions pertaining to meditation. Okay. So we'll have a recap of this particular session again, Uncle. So that it does yes. not get mixed. Okay. Okay, Uncle. I think so the best way for us to just put our attention on the Sahasrara.
and we'll feel our, her presence. Sri Mataji. With your infinite love, you have come on this earth. You've chosen me as your child to all my drawbacks, and all my limitations. I just humbly surrender myself to your lotus feet. And earnestly ask you, create your lotus feet. To allow me to be in your company. Forever and ever. So that I am continuously nourished by you, O oh my Sastrara. So we can just keep in silent, silent meditation for some time. Can we sing the three Maha Mantras, please? Oh, 
what exactly is uh, uh, expected out of us uh, in case we are a yogi so uh, we would uh, we would be circulating the link for the same shortly uh, uncle with this we would like to end today's session we'd like to thank mother uh, okay, for thank for making this session possible we wanted to thank you for being a part of this uh, uh, so so with this uncle we would end today's session jai shri mata ji thank you thank you very thank much you, thank, thank you so you, much thank thanks a lot uncle jai shri mata ji thank you jai shri mata ji mai we can end the session today jai shri mata jai shri mata ji